For full details of the setup and operation of the Aquamax 10 titrator, please refer to the user manual, which is available on the GR Scientific website. The instrument has a single syringe, which is used for delivering the alcoholic potassium hydroxide used to titrate the acid in the sample vessel. The measurement of the acid alkali levels is determined by two electrodes. A pH electrode, which senses the response to the acid levels, and a reference electrode, which are both connected to the back of the instrument. When the instrument is switched on, the main menu is displayed. Before calibrating the system and analysing a sample, it's necessary to activate the instrument and purge the syringe by selecting Manual Activation. In this process, the burette can be emptied and filled to make sure that the whole liquid system is purged and any air bubbles are driven out of the tubing. The process can be repeated as many times as is necessary. Once there are no remaining air bubbles, the vessel can be emptied and prepared for the analysis of the standard and the sample. Next, the calibration option is selected from the main menu and an instruction is given to immerse the electrodes in buffer pH 11. This is used to standardise the system to a known reference point. During this process, the system titrates for one minute and usually gives a result of around 250 to 260 millivolts. The calibration value is stored in the instrument's memory. From the main menu, Analyze is then selected. If the approximate TAN value is known, it can be selected on the next screen. The weight of the sample is entered through the keypad and the titration process itself can be started after the pH 11 standard solution has been removed and replaced with the oil sample. Once the titration process is complete, the result is displayed as a milligram per potassium hydroxide per gram reading.